Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Sorry, he's not here. He is napping. I've been getting all kinds of stuff done today. So, this is going to be a bit of a different video. It's going to be touching more on Fobonichi, which is kind of like a Hobonichi. Uh, it used to be a book. I think a Hobonichi is like a, a style of book. Uh, a journal and I know Fobonichi I know the Facebook group that I'm in was started in like 2015 so really it must have been started like right when I first got in there this is um, let's see when I started it was 2016 and um, this was all I had at the beginning. I really started when my mother passed away and as a way for me to kind of remember, you know, things, but also to deal with the stress and stuff. And so we're going to kind of talk about this. I've had four, four to six people kind of contact me and ask more about Fobonichi journaling. So I will link the Facebook page that I'm in. Uh, typically, Fobonichi journaling is started in a empty, plain empty um, notebook. This is my notebook of choice. And if you can see, it has little tiny dots. Yeah, you can kind of see it. So this is just a dotted uh, moleskin journal. It's about 8.5 by 11. Um, that's my one of choice. As you can see, I have these that are complete so just to kind of give you an idea um, I did kind of skip a year or so and I really regret that so but I've been doing it for so long that you know it kind of becomes ingrained but like I said I started in here and Fobonichi journaling is just writing down a memory every day so you know you could just uh, write it down but that's the main thing is you just want to get those memories in and uh, they, it's not really junk journaling though you could do a Fobonichi journal in a junk journal totally up to you and I do have some in one of my junk journals but it wasn't the layout didn't work for me <clears throat> probably because I'm so used to just having <laughs> a huge journal to, to journal in but, uh, yeah, see, th right here, it was like my mom's been gone for 12, 12 days. And back when I started, they actually had um, things to, um, like, prompts in the Fobonichi journaling group. But I think they did away with that. This is my drawing back then. <laughs> uh, so, that's funny. Um... But yeah, this was February 2016, so we'll just kind of go in. But mainly, you know, um, they encourage pictures, but not just pictures. The main thing is that you, you get in there, you write. Some people use their handwriting. Some people type it up on the computer and then put it in the journal. Just whatever you want to do. And as you'll see, <clears throat> we will have, um, see like... I mean, some days you're not going to have anything to do, you know. So sometimes I would put different, um, like my chore list, things to do, things like that. Things to order, kind of use it as a notebook or, or something. This year I won, I forgot I won those. That's what's fun is you get to kind of look back. So I won some Twinkling H2Os from a YouTube lady. You can put like you know pictures of your packaging and stuff it's kind of like a scrapbook per se but it's a daily scrapbook it's not like stuff that you <coughs> sorry ooh I'm glad I found that <laughs> sorry uh, you know just things here's a recipe I write down recipes um, you know just whatever I want to do and uh, tons of washi tape but if you notice, that's what um, 
you know, things that, that I did. I'm not sure what that is. I must have just splattered. I don't know. But yeah, uh, this is when I started my, my stamp sets and um, I always have weird dreams. So for a while I was writing down, down the dreams and stuff. Uh, I wake at one o'clock. Wow, talk to Aunt Sue, my aunt, for a couple of hours. Oh, this is interesting. We the light bulb just burned out of this, so Clint got me the stand, and I need to get a new bulb. I was wondering how old it was. So yeah, that's kind of what this is. But you're just keeping, you know, a day-to-day -day account. And I don't, yeah, I didn't finish this because I got the other book. Um, I think I picked this up when I was in Texas and sitting with my mom before she passed away. So, anyways, that's one of them. Like I said, this is what I prefer now. I think this is my first one. I don't have it labeled. 2017 February 16th through September this is September the 17th so let's look in this one got me yeah I would put a lot of um tags and stuff because sometimes I just want to you know fill up a page but you know again like here I put Clint's still sick that's the main the main thing is just keeping track of your day and you know I kind of looked I went into the um, Facebook page this morning just to see how they had it um, how they had it all written out and you know what it was and things like that so and that's all it says is really you start with an empty book and I guess it started back in the day with just an empty composition book because you can pick those up like at the dollar store before you um, um, you know dollar store before school starts that kind of thing so yeah <laughs> too funny I used to always put like funny things um, like we would talk, say to the cats but I really miss the way that they did it to start with you know back in the day they would do um, they would do um, sorry prompts like every day you know they would do like Tuesday um, like a take on Tuesday or something like that and so they would do a prompt so you could you know like today you know use the color blue or something like that and some people you know they just draw it out but this is back when I was doing it every day and I would do I mean I did it every day for a long time but um, I did a full page a day and you know it's kind of yeah that was a that was a long time ago I don't have as much to say nowadays I mean obviously I didn't have as much to say <laughs> look at all these big sayings right in the center you know but you I just put little odds and ends in here like if I got a note I put a note from somebody and they're really nice and if you look at it this one's kind of big but I have seen them where same book and people will have them like this big because they just stuff them full so it's kind of fun to see what other people do too and people will share how they journal and you know things like that so she got Sophia got stayed March 16th 2017 oh geez
yeah so just fun things but you can you know get more ideas and stuff there you know and how we get all those stickers and stuff that's kind of fun but I kind of wanted to talk you through how I do mine because I do um, a seven day spread right now so on two pages I do seven days so you know you can put like a big sticker and what I was doing back in the day you know how, how many years ago was that five years 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, four years ago, uh, I would find like a beautiful sticker and then I would just kind of decorate it first and then I would just kind of draw in right in my day because that's the main point of it. Um, so, Clint's birthday and I would draw <coughs> different things out. I guess I've really been draw into drawing <laughs> my whole life, even though I just now, but this one, I remember this, uh, we sat in the, on the tailgate and we were thinking, oh, this is fun, and then when we got further up, oh my gosh, it, it was like on a four-wheel drive, and this guy was driving us, oh my gosh, too old for that, and that was four years ago, so... Yeah, so anyways, just to kind of, I mean, I could look through this all day and just laugh about things, you know, contracts and things, and, you know, I don't have a lot to say, but, um, and I'll show you that, show you how, how I fill my pages these days. That was a pretty page, isn't it? The goats got out. But I have tons of washi. I was thinking I need to incorporate washi into into my pages. I haven't done that in a while. Here's Sammy. Here it is. Things things were said to the cats. To one walking near my glue gun, be careful. You're going to burn your butt. And then watch it. You'll burn your nose. Uh, to Sammy, you look like a stuffed turkey on Thanksgiving. Uh, Clint to Bitty Bear. You're not going to want in there. He let him in there, and two minutes later, I told you you weren't going to want, you weren't going to want to be in there. But did you listen? No. <laughs> to Biddy Bear, you can lay right here, but we've got to move his head first. <laughs> mom was talking. Clint's mom was talking to Sophia. What do you see anyway? The wind. Oh, <laughs> Mom was cleaning out the litter box, and she said, Could you please get off my back? And Cubby had jumped on her back. So funny. Yeah, just little fun, funny things. So, yeah, that's, you know, kind of... So, sometimes if I have... Did you guys ever see this? This thing was massive. It was a mini, a mini, mini album I made. That thing was so large probably will never let's see hmm. I have to read I have to read through some of these because this is me practicing my drawing but yeah I do miss you know them doing the the prompts so I just kind of do my own thing these days as do most people. You can do it. You've got it hanging there. You rock encouragement. <laughs> but they would do things. Let me show you. Like they would say, what are your, some of your favorite summer activities? So you would kind of journal. So whenever you don't have something to write, then you can just, you know, write down your favorite activity or you know, what are my ten favorite things? And then here I was kind of adding. I was just kind of getting into junk journaling. So it's kind of just some things laying out on my desk and, you know, just fun little things I want to keep. So it's kind of like a memory book, but like I said, it's kind of like a scrapbook and it's, um, 
a memory book, you know, but it's a daily kind of scrapbook. And I will link that below. So, you probably don't have to see all these, do you? <laughs> did I finish this? I did. So this was 2009. 14, 17 through 6, 26, 19. So what, a year, year and a half or something? I must have skipped like 2000. No, there's 2018. I didn't, yeah, I didn't do a bunch. Just fun little drawings and stuff. And this one was 2016 through 17. So this was really my first one that I should have showed you guys. Okay. Plant made gumbo. This is my drawing. It was raining that day and all these worms were on the road. So Clint grabbed a bottle and as we took our walk, he picked up worms. <clears throat> so yeah, I think this was my first one. Like here, I put things I carry in my purse or something, or carry with me. You know, these are the things I always have with me. Where we eat. Sometimes I use color. Sometimes I don't. Things I love about summer. Ten things that make me smile. But again, I was feeling like whole days, you know. A full day. And this was something my niece actually wrote on um, Facebook. It was the sweetest thing. I woke up and I was... And so I copied it. I could have printed it, but I just wrote it out. I guess I was really sick then. With my drawings. <laughs> I love looking back. Okay. I was doing weight loss and everything. My weight hasn't changed very much. <laughs> Four years. Uh, oh my gosh, my sister. Ugh. We went on a trip, and it said last last gas for 90 miles. And sis says, oh, we still have a quarter of a tank. We could have turned around and went like a block down and got gas. She said, oh, we still have a quarter of a tank. Let's just, we can make it. <laughs> we made it, but barely, and it was stressful. Me and sis, just fun things. I'll show you kind of what I'm doing now. But yeah, I mean, if you don't feel like drawing, you know, writing it out, you can just draw. You know, they ha used to do a bunch of this, but like, we sanded the dry drywall and then have arrows that tell you where to go, you know, where we went from there. Uh, Zentangling and stuff. So fun. Here's another arrow day. I guess I didn't feel like writing. So you can do, you know, it's just keeping track of your day-to-day -day thing and I like it too because I can um, kind of come back and say oh we had these leftovers are how old because I only eat them for a certain amount of time they're stickers and then once that you know the third day is gone then I throw them away I know you could probably go longer than that but Clint really has uh, Oh, um, a bad, bad tummy. This is Kristen, Kendra's baby, little boy, December the 31st, but yeah, so much fun. And then also these have a little pocket, so I'll link these below if you're, if you're interested in getting one. Okay, and here is... My most recent, the cats have been chewing on my, my string. This one, I did some of these online uh, a while ago. This was journal my day, or draw my day, draw your day. And so I did do some of that in this one, if you guys remember. So I love this page. I know I say that every time I look through here. Me and Clint. <laughs> But I kind of want to get to kind of where we are. This 
day. And then I put pictures. I do a lot of pictures. And I draw a lot. And right now, let's get to kind of get to here. Okay. So I went back in, and this was actually um, this layout was kind of inspired by Donna Campacho. And she is on the Fobonichi journaling. And so she did five, um, seven days. And I thought, you know, maybe I could do that because I was really feeling intimidated by like a whole page. Let me see. I don't know, like a whole page. It just, you know, it wasn't as full as I wanted it to. And sometimes it was just really stressful. So I was talking to Darcy and, you know, she was saying how she forgets. She's so funny. She's like, I forget to eat, but I mean, I don't forget to eat, but I forget to journal. So maybe if I peril. <laughs> I was laughing, Darcy. You know I was. Uh, she cracks me up. Uh, yeah. So anyways, so this is what I've been doing. And I was going to just kind of draw draw it out so you guys can kind of kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. And I haven't finished this week yet. And it's already Sunday. But, um, two, if you, Darcy, I was thinking this might be a good idea for you. Get a post-it. And maybe just kind of jot down something you did or even in your phone. You know, like today, um, so you have a grandbaby and they said your name for the first time. So, you know, today the baby said Nana for the first time. And then just put a post-it on it. Um, you know, I got donuts and coffee. You know, just put a post-it on it. And then when you have time or you think about it, go through your phone or go through your post-its and kind of see what's going on so as you can see this this was actually a picture from inktober that um someone did on the inktober site and her name was clarice vase so i love this picture so i just printed it out made sure i put her name on it because i don't sell this or anything this is just for me and then we got our first snow and then let me show you like I've been keeping track of my um, Inktober challenges so what I do is I go in and we'll do one of those because I have some pictures that I need to to print out and I'll kind of show you how I do it but I print, I've been printing those out that takes up some space and I'm quite okay with that because otherwise I don't have uh, I might not have anything to say. <laughs> so, like, this day we ate at Wendy's, and then hours later we were in Cortez. This was in Durango. This was in Cortez, and I got a uh, Oreo Blizzard. And so I just went online, found Wendy's, found an Oreo Blizzard, cut them out, and popped them in here. So you could either draw it or you could just, you know, print it. I am printing on uh, photo paper and I'm gluing them down into here. But if you um, have seen Gail for a while, she gets like the big full size labels and I have those, I consider doing that. But you could print out your pictures and then just put them on here like stickers. So as you can see, you know, if Clint and I get comics every day, and if there's one that we really like, then I just go in, put it in my um, page and do that, you know, print it out. Just funny pictures, and too, that way I can get rid of them on my phone or whatever, but I still have a record of them. So, you know, just fun things like that. Uh, this one is one of my favorite. This is when the colors started changing, and when you... You know, I go into Pinterest a lot. And so they had, like, when you look at fall, it's like Rudinja. The way the nature and or the weather begins to feel like autumn. And so, you know, sometimes I write down, um, like, a definition of something. Like, I know in this one I did the same thing. It was like the rain. There's a name for it for people who really love that. 
uh, we had a lot going on, you know, but mostly we rest, we take naps, and I watch Hallmark movies, which is what I've been doing all morning. And then, you know, I put who made the video or, you know, and sometimes I forget. But we did have to bury uh, one of our goats. So I will be printing out a picture of her to go in here because that's something I want to keep. And then I might, you know, do like an update on Gracie Lynn because she's doing excellent. Uh, Wilbur got neutered last week and I ended up writing so much stuff I didn't even put in here that he was neutered, which I thought was so funny because <laughs> I try to keep things like that so I can look back and say, oh yeah, he was neutered. But you know, like one day I made pizza, homemade pizza. If I put it in here, then I can say, oh, you know, uh, the pizza's, you know, five days old, so we need to throw it away. Or today's the third day, so we either freeze it or eat it. You know, kind of, that's kind of what I do. So, but I thought, and then also on these, they're kind of thin. And if you go back to this book, you can, you know, you can kind of see through your pages. I mean, it's not awful, but it's, you know. So what I started doing is I just glue two pages together. I just use art glitter glue, glue it, and then just press it on the other one. Like, I've done a bunch in here. Because, and that way if I do want to use some watercolor, but like this, what I do is I just put my glue down and then I just press it like this. That way it stays smooth. And then I have two pages that are glued together. And, you know, it's not going to mess up my other one. I'm fine with that. At first I was thinking, well, I don't want to waste those pages. But I want them to be able for me to, <laughs> to actually read and to see. Like I put in when Clint had his MRI. Um, things like that. Like when we turned on the... The heater, that's fun to look back and say, oh, you know, because last year we turned it on like a month earlier, which I thought was really interesting. Oh, I did put that he was neutered, but I, it, he was neutered on this day and I ran out of room, so I made sure and put it on the next day. But yeah, you know, just fun, fun things like that. So pictures, and an, I try to incorporate color. You know, I do have one though, which I think I showed you guys. <clears throat> that I just did with no color and I think it turned out really cute and you know I didn't have to stress about it or anything but like here's my brother's uh, 54th birthday so I took a picture of him took it from his Facebook page you know just fun fun things like that I really love this journal we did the pink rose journal so I took a picture of that and put that in here um, you know, we just put kind of what we, like a picture I love of Clint, Gracie Lynn. So, so how do I prepare? That's one thing I want to talk to you about is how do I personally prepare for, this is one of my favorite layouts. I want to do that one again sometime. Uh, how do I prepare for my journaling? So every day, and I'll, I'll get caught up tonight, so on this page <laughs> because that's just what I do okay so then next week I'm going to you know here's my page for next week so we're gonna just kind of prep it because this is what I do every Sunday every Sunday night so I needed something what was it oh I'll be right back okay so I have my other iPad and sometimes what I do is I go to the calendar and I just kind of look to see if there's anything for this next week. There's nothing on the calendar, but, you know, like there was Columbus Day, which is now known as Indi Indigenous People Day. And, you know, I kind of wrote that down, but kind of remind myself, oh yeah, you know, this is going on or whatever. So like Halloween, I should, shouldn't have a problem <laughs> remembering that. <clears throat> so then I might go to Pinterest and just kind of look up something. Um, 
you know, I think, well, is it going to be cold this week? It is going to be cold quite a bit. But I don't think we're going to have snow, which I think would be really fun to do like a snowflake layout. Uh, I don't know if, if I want to do that. Um, another thing you can do is look up um, special days. October 2021 and then it will kind of tell you like this one is showing wacky days and okay so we're we're doing what so the 18th is where we're gonna start so there's like national meatloaf no beard day Evaluate your life, brandied fruit. So you can kind of do that and kind of get an idea of what you want to do. Babbling day, that's almost like my everyday. National Nut Day is the 22nd. So this one will be from the 18th through the 24th. So, you know, I could like do all kinds of nuts or something on this page if I wanted to. I don't know if I want to. But, I'm just saying, you know. And then Mother-in-Law Day. <coughs> That's interesting. Is October the 24th. National Baloney Day. So, you know, something like that if you wanted to. And, like, if you looked at this week, I just kind of, I wanted certain colors. So, first I get an idea. Then I open it to a two-page spread. Just to kind of give myself and then I have this little thing over here and I love these um, you've probably seen this a lot in my drawing videos but I have my micron pens which if you let them dry well enough they're not going to smear but sometimes I don't let them dry long enough so I have like smear free pens and then I choose my colors and you can use any kind of pins and then what I do is I keep my other ones in here because those are my favorite they're called Ma mild liner pens and I really like them and they don't one thing I did I liked about them is they didn't go really necessarily through the pages but they have like a small size they're not that extensive they're water-based and then like a chisel tip so then I kind of think, okay, what colors do I do I want to use? You know, let's say we go for like um do we want to go for yeah, let's just go for because I was doing a bunch of like flowers and stuff. You're not seeing a bunch of flowers now. So we could do blues and like purple and this one I have like some of these are double so I think they're exactly the same color you know so maybe I pick out all the blues that I want or all the greens or whatever and so I pick up out like five let's just do four so let's just do blues I think these those are the same color too, aren't they? And let's throw a purple in there. Okay, let's just, I don't know. Let's do that. Might rain, might. We can kind of do like a frost, frosty thing. Really simple. And then I'll, I'll do a page for you guys. But I also love these Faber-Castell pens. They're Pitt Artist pens. I have gray and black and all shades of gray. And then these are my favorite micron pens. As soon as I have dead ones, I uh, I put them up. So we're going to have Sunday. And I always double check myself because, you know, uh, this is October. And I kind of play around with the font. In fact, sometimes I look up the font and change it 18th through the 24th. 
then I'll draw something. Let's just say we're going to do snowflakes because, you know, it has been snowing a little bit. Um, I can't remember if it's going to snow this week or not, but we're going to, we're going to say it is. And that's fine. And if you don't want to, you don't have to draw anything. You can use washi tape, you know, whatever you want to do. So about the first three or four dots, and that's one reason I love the dots on here, is um, just to kind of help me stay, you know, on track because I'm not very good at staying straight. And then we'll put like some little... So if that's one thing I do usually Sunday night. I do try to prep this every Sunday night so that I'm ready to go. <laughs> so like I'll do a big one here. And sometimes if I'm not on, you know, if I don't stay in, it doesn't bother me too much. It's just kind of, I could wait to do these until after. And I try to use all four colors. So, but I choose four to five colors. And sometimes I'll pull out my, like for the for the branches, I'll pull out my um, watercolor pens and use them. You can certainly do whatever you want to do. Oops. But I thought purple might be kind of fun, you know, for this page. Okay. So now what I would do is like these, when I'm done with these, I would put these in my little case here so I don't mix up my colors. That's just how I have been doing it. So say that's fine for me. Hey, Bubba. Okay, so then I'm going, let me tell you. <clears throat> so about the fourth or fifth, I'll start with my colors. Fourth or fifth line. So, you know, about an inch or so. So, and let's, you know, we're doing snowflakes on this one just because. So I might just draw that and then just go down. So let's see, one, so about another two inches or so. Thought it might be easier just to t kind of tell you in inches instead of. <coughs> about another two inches, because I do have four on one side and then three on the other. So some days I don't have to, I don't have to write, say as much, and some days I have to say more. So it's just, and once you kind of get them, you can kind of look back and say, oh, I need one here, 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 and here. These I made kind of big. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. And then I'll put this one there, and I kind of like mix up my colors so that I don't have a blue here and a blue here. And then I kind of come down just a touch further. I do like the colors I chose. I kinda, and we'll do this blue. <coughs> so again, that's just how I do it. And then down here, I'm just going to, you know what? I think I'm just going to, I've been keeping track of my YouTube just because, see if it grows or not. And then we can do like this dark blue. Just do two. And then I can just draw in with black pen my YouTube numbers like here. YouTube. <coughs> and this is the first day. So this is 10, 18, so then I just come here and then I'm just going to draw my 
numbers in. Oops. The one thing uh, that Donna that I was telling you about who kind of came up with this idea is she posts pretty regularly on Sundays and I don't allow myself to um, uh oh I forgot that one darn it see what I did that's what I get for talking um, it, <laughs> oh well you know what we're going to go with it I was going to put 24 there. There we go. There's always a way to fix it in there. Okay, now if I can remember when I'm doing that. So, uh, I don't allow myself to post mine or to read hers because I, I like to read hers until mine is done. So, it, it encourages me to get it done. And then I can go into Fobonichi Journalers and uh, kind of look at hers and see what everyone else is posting for, the, for them week so again you know Thursday we haven't we haven't left the house <clears throat> so I have to figure out what all we did on these days because <laughs> you know you know how your mem memory is and especially you know today's Sunday I know Clint napped all day this day which on this day we must have cleaned up the yard and had to bury the goat so this day I'm not sure what all we did but I shall figure it out but yeah that's so I hope this kind of you know gave you an idea and sometimes I will like put lines let me show you uh-uh stop it sorry let's see who's chasing her ah animals but you know sometimes I'll do like a um, line to separate the days so it's kind of whatever you you want to do and some days I'll just kind of draw like here I wasn't as involved in it you know I did clouds and then I did all kinds which these were really fun on Pinterest I found umbrellas and so I just uh, sketched them out with pencil and went over them with pen and colored that in I love how the heading turned out I thought that was really fun and you know I feel like I have so much more to do now because I have the drawing and I'm kind of feel like I you know I committed myself to doing this drawing every day and I'm already like four days behind <laughs> so it does have you know it does help to have that drawing and to come in and uh, kind of use that to fill in some of the blanks and stuff because it's I don't I don't feel like I have as much time which is crazy because and it does take about an hour to do each drawing. Maybe I should nap less and draw more or something. I don't know. <laughs> so I do still have to figure out what to do on these days. But it's, it's not going to be that difficult, you know. I mean, it wasn't that long. But I would much rather. And some days, I don't have anything to say. So, like this one, I wasn't sure, you know. I didn't have anything to say in this spot. So I looked it up and it says you make beautiful things out of ink, but I changed it to graphite because that's what I'm doing. <laughs> doing right now is things out of graphite, which is just pencil. So, you know, I'm just trying to, and you know, my best time is when I get up, when I'm sitting there, I have my coffee, as long as I don't have a cat, cat sorry, a cat in my lap then that's what I do so I do want to show you how I print so I got this it's uh, Photoshop it's free on your iPad so what I do is like here's one okay and I have all these photos I just delete it and I start with the eight and a half by eleven page on here <coughs> and you can kind of look at it and then I just kind of eyeball because I don't have like a fancy um, printer so it's going to print out you know just one photo or whatever so I just print on here and I know I wanted to do a 
pick okay so we have bit and that's another good thing is I can look back at the pictures um, I think bit has a bad tooth I think Clint was mentioning that and so you know I, I think well that's eight so two four six so that's about a two inch picture and that's about what I do and as long as I don't want to edit it or anything, I just go ahead and put that on there. But that's another thing. I go through my photos and just think, oh, you know, is there something in here that I want to keep or put in my journal for the week? So I want to go look at this other picture real quick. Because that does help when you just don't can't think of anything else to, to say. I kind of like that one. Let's edit this one. And actually cancel. Already went over to Daddy and uh, uh, we can do both of them. So kind of have to play play around with this. It's not horrible, and it's nice if you have a pen, but. Um, like say I only want this little picture of Arctic and Daddy. Okay, and I like that, so and then I will move it, make it a little bit smaller. Actually, I want to make it quite a bit smaller because I have two of them. Then that, I didn't. Okay, and then I want that other photo. And I mean, there's all all kinds of things that you can you can do. I think this one is the other one. Yeah, done. We're going to crop it. Um, probably about the same size. Invert, erase. Okay, and then we select here. And I'm going to put them. That way it, it kind of tells a story in its own. Does that make sense? Kind of like he was doing that first and then Daddy was loving on him. I'll put them side by side. Um, I like that. Can you see what I'm doing? Sorry. So, you know, kind of go through and see what pictures I have. Let's see if there's anything else that I want to to keep. Nope. I don't think so. I'm still working on my drawings. So I'll have to take pictures of them and then maybe we can, you know, do that. So then I go here and I save it to my photos, save image, and then I can go back to my photos here, if you're familiar with this at all. And for some reason it doesn't put it next, it takes it all the way up here, so you kind of have to look around for it, there it is. That's not it though, so why wouldn't it have been in here? There it is. And then I'll print these off. Let's go ahead and print them just so you can kind of, so I can do a whole day for you. And let me go um, get what I need to print them. Okay, again, since I don't have a cute little thing, I'm going to print them from here. Sometimes it wastes a whole sheet of paper, but you know, it is what it is. I have tons of printer paper we um i ended up getting a printer a while back and it was five dollars a yard sale and they gave me like five packs of paper so it doesn't bother me to waste it but it does bother me to waste it you know <clears throat> sorry i'm grabbing that real quick
Okay, we're going to try that again because it has lines in it. So I'm going to let that clean and then we'll print it, but I'll just print it on the other side. So I'm going to do that, get them printed, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's my pictures. It takes a while to clean that, so I did that. Give Biddy. Biddy, I think the reason his tongue stuck out is because he has bad tooth. So we have him on amoxicillin right now. And he told me he wanted his treat, so I gave him some amoxicillin. But it was so cute you know until we realized he was in pain so that's what i try to do with this is you know like flip it over do whatever i need to do try to use as much of it as i can and then <clears throat> i just thought these were such cute pictures and it's a lot of times if i have like overflow on pictures because i have so much on 17th you know Friday and Saturday or Saturday and Sunday so I end up like I'll probably put him here I like to kind of stagger my pictures sometimes I you know a lot of times I end up kind of like this so I end up like doing the first part of the week and then finishing up Saturday or Sunday and so I'm able to you know because I take a lot of pictures and kind of, you know, like get that one in there and then we'll put this one over here because I think this was just last night or Friday night. It's nothing that has to be recorded or anything. But let's put it like here. Like I said, to me it's just like a scrapbook that you write personal, kind of like diary information on. And if you don't want to share it, you know, that's fine. If you want to share it and, you know, blur things out, there's all kinds of, like, apps and stuff that you can blur out um, your saying or something like that. And for a long time, I would keep, like, my passwords and stuff, you know. I'm not going to show those, so I actually write them on a piece of paper and put them back here. Now it's just information. But, you know, this is perfect for, like, little rulers or, or something. So like here, I'll just write about Biddy. Uh, his name's Little Bear or Biddy Bear, and um, Clint calls him Pard. So I'll write Biddy Bear. Uh, I'll put Pard. Clint's dad used to call him Pard, and and then they had a cat, and they called it Pard. So. Anyone that his um, dad really loved, he called Pard. So towards the end of his life, he'd call me Pard too. So it's kind of like a pet name for any truly loved person or whatever. So this is Pard and um, was so cute with that bright pink tongue sticking out. Until we realized he has a toothache. Then I'll put like a sad face there and then like here I'll just go down and sometimes I like to go around my pictures I know it's kind of <laughs> I don't know if you can tell there's a cat like right in front of me this is Arctic dude Arctic James I don't know why we named him Arctic James named him Arctic because of his beautiful blue eyes it's one thing about doing videos in <laughs> inside you get to see all the critters there he is. Isn't that a cute picture? Okay, hold on. Sorry, I had to go take pictures of him. <laughs> so 
so I can put that one like down here on Sunday since this Sunday that we're doing this. He's um he's funny. He has has a schedule where he sleeps until like nine o'clock every day. Even though, you know, Clint gets up like at four. This guy will just sleep until about between eight and nine and then he wakes up and goes to daddy and gets his eleven and he's a talker and a half. What are you doing, Mr. Arctic? And when we don't want him to know we're talking about him, I call him Mr. A. So that Clint knows who I'm talking about. But, um, um, the cats don't. Yeah, I know, because if, if they hear their name, you know, they can run it. Just like Sophia's, like, Butterball or whatever. So then, um, I might put... Oh, and one thing, one thing is I try to think my thoughts through so I can write the whole thing. You know, like sometimes I'm not that good. Like I put Gracie and Arctic are, and then I came back across. But um, sometimes like, let's see, like this one, I thought, well, I'll do this little section here, and then I draw an arrow to kind of finish up, but sometimes my arrow's reversed. Like this one, I could put like, um, I could go, you know, and put an arrow here if I wanted to. We did start him on antibiotics. As well as, let's see, like this one. Okay. Let's see. I'll put, I'll talk about Gracie Lynn because she and a lot of mine are about cats and stuff. Gracie Lynn is now on her. Gracie is now on half a pill every other day. And then she'll be done. And then she'll be done. And then um, we started, we put, sometimes you want to change your words to make them fit. <laughs> Bitty, there on a mox, and like this word, you know, I spelled it out, but if you wanted to, you could just hyphenate, or what's it called? abbreviate your words but I knew I just wanted to use that whole line so you're gonna kind of you know fit that in <laughs> so or you could put on meds or whatever um, to treat his sore tooth there so you know I mean I don't write a bunch of things and I did want to try some of these gel pens that my dear friend Kathy June sent me. I did write with one earlier. You know, it's so fun. Um, let's go for green. I think I took the black one out because it was Um, I know I made pizza this day, so made homemade pizza. Pepperoni pizza. For supper. It was so yummy and then I might separate it like with this black and then let's use like an orange one because the orange kind of goes with the theme so Oh, this is when 
I do want to get a picture of uh, the violet. Violets are go with that past. So let me just put violet past away. The way she was. Violet's our goat. One of our goats. She was one of our first babies. Violet passed away. She was about 11. And goats, they say, only live, live to um, 12 or so. She was about 11, so it wasn't unexpected. Though it was sad. We got her and her sister at the same age, and they were probably about four, four to six months old. So, and then I'll put a picture of her in here. So, you know, want to leave like a two inch space here. So, just kind of figuring out what you want to do, what you want to keep track of. Like I said, I do a lot of, you know, we keep track of, um, um, what am I thinking? What we eat and stuff like that. Sorry. I never did move that back. Sorry guys. And then this is, let's do a red. Let's put red in here. These are fun. I might have to put these in my, um, uh, thing. Get another one because that one's good full. So Artie, every night when Clint gets his pills, every night when Clint gets his meds, Arctic runs over. And cleans his hair. <laughs> so funny. Too funny. So, you know, that's just kind of how, how we're going to do it. You know, how we do it. And then I'll probably go ahead. Like I said, I have a couple of pictures that were in my Inktober. That I haven't recorded in here so I'll probably go ahead and record those so take pictures of them print them out and put them down below and then I'll put however many um, YouTube people we have here just to kind of keep track you know of my for myself because sometimes they you know will add up but this one it was only one and this one it was only one but you know I've had somewhere like 25 or something in a in a week so you never know so then one other thing I do like to do <clears throat> is I'm gonna take these the pins the colors that I'm using and I like to kind of highlight my lines I feel like it brings everything together just kind of mix and match my colors I love this I don't know if you guys can tell what that is but it's a she's got a cat in her lap and she's reaching for her coffee but she can't reach her coffee because there's a cat in her lap and it's called the prompt was stuck and it's called stuck in coziness I told her this is my everyday <laughs> situation which is true so, and then I just, that way it's more cohesive, more, you know, goes along better. Let's do red here. Cats are playing. And then I'll, you know, finish with this. So, like, say I like these three pins with this one. I might just do that and then just put them in here. But I like to have everything put together. So, I'm ready to go. I don't have to look for anything. And, you know, that's just what I like to do. 
That's one thing I discovered when I first started going to this one. Let me see, this one, I think it's this one. Let's go through this and I'll kind of show you. Now see, this was a solid page and you can kind of see some of it kind of bled through. And this was just my drawings. But I kind of do a theme for the top and then I just separate it into seven different areas and then just put pictures or drawing or just something about your day, you know. And I mean, if you don't want to do that, some people do just like a calendar. They just draw out different little uh, squares or whatever. Just write something that happened that day. I like to have a little bit more room than that. But I'm not back to my full day spread. I really like this. It's nice and full. And I enjoy this. You know, I'm able to keep track of when we have the MRI and how Gracie was feeling and as she... I even do some drawings in here that this was actually a, a Skillshare class and I just drew in some drawings. This was when I had a mammogram so I found this funny little um, funny little cartoon. My sister when she had her stroke. Oh here's the one I was telling you about. It's called a pluviophile and it's a, a lover of rain, someone who finds joy and peace of rain during the the days. And I like to practice my, um, my, uh, alphabet and stuff, different ones. You can look these up on, um, Pinterest. Just go in there and type in alphabet and all kinds will come up. See so this one, you know, we had like 13 in that week. Gracie, as she was going through her sickness, my, um, my nieces and their new babies. I just like to keep track of things like that. And this was one lady, uh, Virginia, she's such a sweet lady. I've known her for a few years and she's actually a friend of my sister's. And she, um, we got together and took a picture. So that was, you know, it was just fun to look back and say, oh yeah, we went to eat out to eat and then we did this and this. and. You know, sometimes I don't have, like I said, I don't have anything to say. So, like this one, it looks like a sticker, but I just practiced my handwriting, my drawing, and I just drew it exactly like the sticker that was showing, like, on Pinterest. So, you know, here's, you know, just little things. Sometimes I have nothing to say, or, you know, I'm on a muscle relaxer or something, and I don't feel like saying <laughs> anything. This one was totally my idea and I loved it. It's, um, what are those things? Uh, Kodak. You know, the camera, whatever. I can't remember what they're called. Anyways, picture frame things. <laughs> Somebody will tell me. And I just drew little ones and then I came in with the colors I wanted to use in this spread and I just colored them like backgrounds and then just went in individually and just drew little pictures in them and then I had a bigger one I just used a ruler trace it out and so I had these fun little memories I love that I think they're so fun and Wilbur how many of you guys seen today <laughs> he's so cute he um I've been giving Gracie Lynn her um, soft cat food when she was sick and we're kind of to, towards the end of it. So when he got his little operation, I started giving him some. So every morning they sit, they both sit there and they stare at me and they're like, Mama, Mama. <laughs> um, yeah. It's, oh, um, what are those things called? Kodak? Kodak memory. I don't know why my brain is just not, not working. But like here I put, you know, we had... Leftover Mexican bell stuffing, bell pepper stuffing for supper, uh, another neck egg, which I have a lot of, and this was a sweet saying from Nisi. Hi Nisi, if you're watching, 
she just sent a really sweet um, message and I printed it out and I put it in here because it just made me feel so good so you know anything you see any sayings anything that just really touches your heart then you can do that and I did a pink one more colors this one was rectangles <laughs> I showed you some of the other ones okay guys we're gonna wrap this up thank you so much for watching be sure and hit that subscribe button uh, check down below for the Fobonichi group on YouTube no on Facebook I don't think there is a YouTube channel but uh, I'll look into that and if you guys know of one then certainly let me know thanks for watching be sure and hit that subscribe button we'll see you guys in the next video see you soon bye